Safe Air Command, Medic 20. Grandstand area with multiple, multiple people trapped and multiple injuries. Andrea Valenga and other concert goers are crushed when the stage collapses at the Indianapolis State Fair. A number of people are rushed to Indiana University's Methodist Hospital, suffering from life-threatening, severe traumatic brain injuries. In our facility that night, within a, just a few hours, there were four patients that got some sort of cranial operation. And pretty much it was, here's this patient that needs a surgery, here's the next one. So, well, this patient needs to go now. We had to sort of figure out how we were gonna triage these people. Four patients are considered for the synapse study at Methodist that night. Andrea is the only one randomized. She is also the only patient to survive. I have no memory of even getting dressed and ready. I don't remember being there. Everything I know about that day I've learned from my friends and family. We actually um, walked into the emergency room and they said she's getting ready for surgery. She has a traumatic brain injury. And at that point, you know, we were really totally in shock. We couldn't, you know, comprehend even what was going on. She had the very same type of injury that these other patients had as far as mechanism goes. She actually had a blow to the skull, uh, crushing her skull. Had a lot of issues with brain swelling. We just performed a large craniectomy removal of the majority of the right side of her skull. And those pieces were um, not really salvageable. We immediately were taken to the fifth floor to neurocritical care. And from there, they were gonna take her to surgery. I think there was a significant possibility that she wouldn't survive the brain injury. For Andrea's family, the decision to enroll her in the Synapse study was an easy one. A representative from the program came to us about this program and that she was a candidate for it. We knew Andrea would want to do that, no matter what her outcome was. We knew if it was something that could possibly help people in the future that she would want to do that. I'm very glad I'm in this trial. I mean, it creates a legacy for me. There are really two injuries. And one is the injury that happens at impact. The second is we call the, the, the secondary injury, and that's the brain swelling. And that's where a neuroprotective drug like progesterone, especially one that's not gonna hurt the patient or is unlikely to hurt the patient, is a very useful adjuvant. Despite the severity of her injuries and initial dire prognosis, Andrea's doctors are amazed by her recovery. So I had to be taught to walk, eat, and speak. The degree of injury that she had was huge, and she's made a, just a, a, a wonderful recovery. We would not have statistically predicted that Andrea was going to do well, but she did, so she, she beat the odds. Each day we're so thankful that she's alive and progressing. It's made me grateful for every day. I'm very thankful to be alive. The Synapse trial is more than a drug study to Andrea and her family. It is hope for a chance to fulfill the promise of a life that could easily have been cut short. It's more time for a mother to be with her daughter. It's a future of memories between a wife and a husband. It would be wonderful if it showed that progesterone actually worked and we actually can give this to all of our patients. Again, if it really shows efficacy, which would be monumental. The sooner we have that trial completed, the, the sooner we're able to potentially improve our care of head injury patients. I don't know for sure if I got this drug, but gosh, it seems like it, and I believe I did. I mean, I'll be shocked if I didn't, I mean, knowing how far I've come. The scientist part of us that are involved in this trial just wants to find out. Is it helpful? Is it not? But part of us hopes, boy, I hope she got it, and I hope it's the reason that she's doing well. Because that would be, you know, potentially revolutionary for us. To researchers around the world, I just want to say thank you, and I want to encourage you to bring this trial to an end, because there are patients out there that can benefit from this study.